Hunter, Hunter, Hunter! Yeah! <laughs> he, he wants us to go kill stuff so he can paint. I'm sorry, did you just try to throw a bomb to prevent me from getting to the supply box? It's actually really clever. It's a little bit of light trolling. That's like goblin level of light trolling. <laughs> I'm here, bird. Thank you, bird. Oh, Redbeard's wasting no time. Meanwhile, I'm going to my, uh, Spirit Bird route. Oh, so we're fighting two different monsters at the same time. Ooh. We are. You're chasing after some lucky life. <laughs> else. I'm I, right now. I'm very much unga bunga. I'm going after the first thing I saw. Oh, these are these are advanced because they're doing way more damage than they should be. Whoops. It said advanced in the quest title. Yeah, that's that's true. That's fine. We can do a little suffering. Ow. And hey, the first one to get the uh, to get their respective monster mountable, we'll just run over to the other. It's fine. It's fine. It's totally okay. Don't even worry about it. Who's worrying about it? I'm not worrying about it. You're worrying about it. We win. <laughs> We're on our way, Redbeard. Don't worry. We got this. I brought friends.
And now I just spontaneously have decided, you know what? I actually do want to go after Mizu first since, you know, we're here. All three of them are in the middle. This will cool. be fun. Cool. Cool. We might actually get some some more. Oh, yep, 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 yep. That is a mounted Tigrex. That was almost a mounted Mizu, except the Mizu got hit and got snapped out of it. Because then it would have turned into my favorite activity in Monster Hunter, monster jousting. You explain. How does that work? When two players are both mounted on a monster at the same time, they target each other and then try to attack each other. Whoever scores the mounted Punisher first wins. It's a terribly exciting game. That actually sounds sick. Oh, it's 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 so great. If they ever add PvP to this game, you know that's gonna be the form it takes. Granted, I know that is a massive if. It's a very massive if, but on the same token, like Actually no, I don't I don't think they're they're ever gonna do PvP in Monster Hunter. Just because of the Monster Hunter team's attitude about gaming. Yeah. I knew I could count on you. The, their overall attitude towards world design is that uh, all humans like each other. And you know what? I'm down with it. If only, if only, you know, we could replicate that in the real world. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me, pardon me. This Mizu is having a bad day. Poison Tide. Can't that hit or not. It did. Okay, that's it. Oh, it did. I'm gonna go get those shinies real quick. You know what? A green and an orange spirit bird in very close proximity? That does sound like a good sidetrack.
You know what? I got greedy. I deserve that. Nice. Double nice. And the paralysis. Oh my god. Redbeard comes through again. I mean, I help. This is oh yeah, you're both using paralysis weapons. Goodies. Give me the kiss. So, I keep referencing this, Gotta stay sharp. <laughs> but are are you familiar with the the fifth element? Um, nitrogen? No, the movie. I'm not much of a person. Neither am I. But the fifth element is amazing. It was amazing for its time. It's still amazing now. I'm probably going to watch it after I'm done with this with this stream. Because I keep getting it stuck in my head. Also, I'm totally wrong. The fifth element is actually Boron. But at one point, Bruce Willis's character is about to leave. It's like a Blade Runner-esque dystopian society, hyper-futuristic kind of thing. And he's about to leave his apartment to go do a thing. And there's this, like, tweaked-out drug addict standing outside his door. And he made a hat that just has a printout of the opposite wall so he could just stand there without, you know, being detectable on the camera. And then he he flips his head up and pulls out a gun. And he's like, give me the cash. And then Bruce Willis is like, that's a very dangerous gun. It would be if it were loaded. What do you, what do you mean it's not loaded? And you, you got to press the little yellow button right there. And just as, you know, after, after a moment where the druggie goes to load it, Bruce Willis's character pulls oh, oh, out a oh. gun. And it's just like, that's a really dangerous gun, so let me take care of that for you. And then the druggie's just like, it's all right, I don't need it! And he starts doing like this silly little dance and Bruce Willis struggles to maintain character. Like the little, the little struggle not to start giggling is real. Okay, that is the weirdest sensation because I was about to anchor rage that bite, but then it stops because he gets paralyzed. The first world problem. Um, sorry? Yeah, I, I couldn't counter an attack because my teammates are too competent and stopped the attack. <laughs> what a world we live in. Also, what a feeling to get a quote from Miria only to get one of your own quotes. You know what? It. It's running away. 
Oh, that's that's like the freaking Palico Cat Paw sword and shield. I love it. Were you at Redbeard? Were you inspired by the by the teddy bear? If he says no, he's lying. The teddy bear was, was great. I have once again watched as Redbeard countered a Tigrex scream and then made it stagger. He just sounded back, but louder. It's amazing. Ow. Sir. 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 I don't know what it is about today, but today just has me in really good spirits. Not even you can knock them down, Tigrex, but, you know, go ahead and try. Watch where it gets you. I'm going to guess something about the teddy bear and the three other dragons. Had something to do with that mood? Possibly. Because that was awesome. I think the upswing of my mood began when, like, I served dinner to the household, despite the fact that I was so tired all day, and then everybody started expressing gratitude because they liked how dinner was, and I'm like, that actually makes me feel good about me putting in the effort when I otherwise didn't want to put in the effort. Oh, yeah. Because the thing is, is that we love our mashed potatoes in this household, but more often than not, if we have the option, have the I, will, I will be insistent on, hey, just bring me home a bag of potatoes. I will peel them and cook them and set them up myself. Don't you worry. One of my housemates came in to remind me that she thought dinner was great, so. It's a really great feeling when somebody expresses genuine like over something you created. Speaking from experience here. Yeah. When it comes to making food, when you end up making like 10 pounds of food and like most of it is gone the day you make it. Can I get away with this? Oh, you bet I can. I'll take that extra 288 damage all the way to the bank, baby. 
Oh, Tigrex is having a very bad day. Oh yeah, he did. I'm. Oh, they were yelling, "Don't let it get away!" About the Goss Harag, because I'm just like Tigrex died. Yeah. Oh yeah, parts. Because of mounting. <laughs> hey Gas Harag, how you doing? I'm about to stab you in the butt. I did it twice, and then you roared some flying monsters out of the air because you were pissed off. Valid. I can understand your displeasure. How? I can also understand that. No more of that, please. What a Someone good a stun. Someone killed a small and finished my optional. Thanks for that. I think it's because the Removra just unfortunately got too close to everything that's happening. Yeah, <laughs> looks like that happened again. Oh, he's got a nice sword. Oh no! Yeah, advanced Goss is uh. One oh, of those... I stunned. I paralyzed them. Good. Yeah, he looked like he was rear. He was ready to to make you pay. Oh uh, yeah, got. Goss swatted Redbeard out of the air, which unfortunately can can lead to some very unhappy. There's one thing I'm sad about right now. There aren't any other monsters that we can use to beat up this monster with. Laysai. I mean, we already beat the crap out of it at least once. Yeah, but... I want more. Valid. Once again, I expected an attack with Anchor Rage, and it was prevented by my teammates. It's just like, all right, I'm about to get hit. No, I'm not. Okay. Wow, this Gotharag is having a bad freaking day. It's so amazing to get into a, a stint like this where you see a monster barely able to move. And then the only time it was able to move was a stagger backwards, and then it's like, nope, I'm out. Goodbye. I'm yeah, leaving. Yeah, that, that's why the resi That's why the status resistance system is set up the way it is. You can usually get one status inflicted pretty easily, but good luck getting a second one. The whole system, I actually think it's a really intelligent way to handle it for a game it of is. this style. It's great. Oh, 
Oh, hi, Ramobra. Hit by Ramobra. Smack me. I am, I am very fond of Gas Harad fights. I think it's, I think it's an interesting concept to see him using ice like that. And I'm also like, I'm also always thrilled to see monsters that are neither dinosaur nor dragon looking. Which might be a bit of a wild take for some people, but... There are a lot that fit those. Yeah. And I remember some from earlier games that I'm just like, you know what? I unironically kind of miss this. That was one of your least favorite parts of World. The fact that they were almost all dinosaur or dragon. Like, I remember playing 4 on DS and getting really fascinated by, uh, a monster called Daimyo Hermitor, which was like a giant hermit crab. But the thing is, is that like his shell was a uh, like a monster skull. So it looked like he could he could back it into you and bite you. Ready? He was also very tricky because he knew that he had that giant tough skull, so he'd consistently back into you or walk sideways into you, and you had to get around him to deal your best damage. Let's go. Let's go. Good stuff. 